Hi, and welcome to our tutorial on how to make one of our support panels for Pure Sounds program for Oklahoma. Uh, first, you decide on which size you want to use. This is the flyer that we sent out to show you how these support panels look on a page. There are three sizes. There's quarter page. This is a couple of examples there. And this is the half page. And then, of course, a full page would take up that whole area. Uh, quarter page is $40, half a page is $75, and a full page is $100. The deadline again is April 1st. But this is how I built this. I'm going to put, drag this out of the way so that you can see how we do this. Now, as it says on the uh, flyer, a quarter page is two and a half inches by three and a half inches. So in Microsoft Word, what you would do is insert a text box. and just create a size. Let's say this is going to be a break a leg panel. And I'm going to zoom this up so that we can kind of get a better view of the uh, process here. And you want to put a picture in of your player. So let's go do that. We'll insert picture from our file. Now let's just go over here. I'm going to use as an example. Let's say we're going to do me. So you got the, the image on format picture. I want to go over here and take the color out of it. So I'm going to make it uh, grayscale. That looks a little bit dark, so I think I'm going to brighten it up just a little bit. Add a little bit of contrast. And that's that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to put that into the program. And I've got it inside the box here. It's a lot bigger than I want it to be. So... So I get the photo and I got it inside the box and I'm going to size it. Now let's get this box the right size. I right click on it, format the text box and size. And I want our um, height to be 3.5 inches and I want the width to be 2.5 inches because we're doing a quarter page panel. Okay, let's lock that aspect ratio. And there's the size. So that'll help me a lot in figuring out how big to make this picture. I'll just make it that size. So I've got a lot of room left for the text. And so right over here, we'll do break a leg. And that's a little bit close, so I'll scooch it over some. And now I want to put this on centered text. Put my information on there. And the sentiment. And I've decided that, as much as I like that, I think I'd like to do this maybe in a different font. So I'll go over here and do this in Broadway Copyist. That sounds, well, that doesn't look very good. So let's change that again. Uh, how about Chalk Dust? I like Chalk Dust. Uh, and that's going to then require me to do a little bit of adjusting. Uh, maybe I need this to be a little bit smaller size. That's good. So now that uh, that looks pretty good, but this is still too big. So let's get these font sizes down. And I'll swipe the whole thing. I'll swipe the whole thing and. 
I'll need to swipe that whole thing and get all of it down to 10 point here. And let's make that bold. And I'm going to right click on the panel itself. And under colors and lines, I'm going to give it a line. And a 0.75 point looks pretty good. And there it is. Up. It's running off of the bottom of the page. So what I can do is go in here and adjust this a little bit. Take that down and there it is. Let's do the same thing on this space. I'm making it a smaller font size so it actually sort of, this is called leading actually. So it kind of squishes up. But if you've got any kind of word processing skills at all, you can you can do this very, very simply. It does not take that long. Then, once you get the program done, then you can save it. And here are our support panels. And I'm going to call this Steve Panel. And save that document. Now, when you send that to me, this saved the entire page, but it's a very simple thing for me in the editing program to then cut this out and insert it into our program, and your panel will be done. It's a quarter page. It's a piece of cake. So, as you can see, it's not that hard to do in Word, uh, and if you still need help, give me a call.